Welcome back for our final band concert of the year at the Las Vegas Academy of the Arts. Though you'll see a large portion of our students on stage tonight, we are proud of all of our students for their dedication and perseverance throughout the year. Thank you to all of our parents, guardians, and students for your continued optimism and support. We're so grateful for all of you and invite you to enjoy the concert. A Talis Prelude is based on a melody written by Thomas Talis, a 16th century English composer. Douglas Akey has used Talis's melody as a foundation for this exciting and fresh composition for concert band. We find in A Talis Prelude the playful juxtaposition of 16th century sounds with modern harmonies and rhythms. We hear major next to minor, complex rhythmic patterns next to standard meters, somber and cheerful melodies side by side. The result is a lighthearted, engaging work that we hope you'll enjoy. Associate Director of Bands, and I will be conducting the Wind Symphony, performing American Sketches by Barry Kopitz. We will be playing two movements of this piece. Movement one is entitled Shanty Boys and Rich Old Farmers. Movement two is entitled Tittle Ding Dum Ding Dum Day. Movement one is dedicated to both Rafe Von Williams and Gustav Holst. The inspiration for this movement came from two folk songs. They are the Shanty Boy and the farmer, and there was a rich old farmer. Movement two is entitled Tittle Dinkum Dinkum Day. The original title of the folk song was Father Sent Me Here Accounting, and while it has its own particular twists in terms of content, it was the final phrase of the song that captured the composer's attention. It is sung to the words Tittle Dinkum Dinkum Day and represents a tongue twister if sung at a high tempo. And you'll hear a high tempo in this piece. The good humor that results rather represents the character of the entire melody. Please enjoy American Sketches with the LVA Wind Symphony.
Thank you. 
Eric Whitaker has created a remarkable setting of our national anthem that is both reverential and unique. After you hear an initial statement of the first verse by solo trumpet, you'll notice the piece starting to evolve. Whitaker does this by playing with the original meter, interspersing occasional measures of four beats against the original three beats, as well as adding increasingly more color and vivid dissonance. Whitaker also employs the technique word painting, an approach to composing music that reflects the literal meaning of a song's lyrics. For instance, when the lyric bursting in air occurs, you'll hear a sudden increase in rhythmic activity. Similarly, when the banner yet waves, Whitaker illustrates the text by writing large intervals with a repeated rhythm. These and other effects contribute to a thoughtful setting of the piece we all know, while still being respectful to the original material. Please enjoy Eric Whitaker's stunning setting of our national anthem, The Star-Spangled Banner. playing The Immovable Doe by Percy Granger. Percy Granger is a famous composer and concert pianist from Australia. He was most famous for uh, traveling around England and using wax cylinders to record various folk songs from throughout the English countryside. Well, he didn't do that with The Immovable Doe. The story is that he was composing a piece of music at his organ at his house and one single key got stuck. So he decided rather than fixing that, he would just leave that one note to sound throughout a piece of music while he would play around with various notes and rhythms. The result is what you are about to hear. Please enjoy the LVA Wind Ensemble performing Percy Granger's Immovable Doe.
Peter Menon, the composer of Canzona, wrote this single work for concert band, which became a one-hit wonder as a cornerstone in the repertoire. Menon was a remarkably individualistic composer, wanting his music to be true to his own voice and not reflecting inspiration from other composers. Canzona is a short, brisk work, which opens with a declamatory idea expressed in massed sound. Next, a broad, melodic line is introduced and supported by powerful, rhythmic figurations. These and other materials are developed and expanded with further contrasting episodes, while the piece concludes with the opening statements brought back in a final dramatic presentation. Please enjoy our closing piece, Peter Menon's Canzona.
kind of dress Everything she never had She's showing up Driving too fast Moon is breaking through her hair She's heading for something That she won't forget Having no regrets Is all that she really wants Reminds her of the missing piece of innocence she loved
Thank you again for spending your time with the students of the LVA band program. We are so proud of what all of our students on and off stage have accomplished this year in spite of the challenges they have faced. We appreciate your support and perseverance throughout the year and we wish you a safe and happy summer. Please take care. So when I was in seventh grade, um, Mr. Seaton, one of the band directors, visited my middle school, played a little bit for us, and just kind of told us about LVA, and like from that instant, I knew that I wanted to go to LVA. I actually came to our magnet open house, and I saw that the choir department had a few selections, and I saw like all the kids treading in from the audience, and they were all singing. I knew that this was a place that I knew I can be comfortable, and I can learn how to be a proper musician. I have one of the most fondest memories of first walking into the Loudon Gallery space and seeing these giant photographs printed uh, and hanging from the ceiling. And I just remember being like, wow, I want to be part of this. You know, I want to create and, and be part of this environment that I saw all this expression in. Actually, I am uh, a transfer student from Chicago, so I came here my junior year. So we flew out from Chicago, sat in a rehearsal, and I'm like, I've got to come here. Just seeing them tap away and just the vocals, it was just, this is the place I need to be. At LVA, I do feel like I belong here. Um, since the first day I walked in, I've never felt nervous or shy. I felt like this is the place that I needed to be and I wanted to be. This is a place where you get to be yourself and you don't have to hide in a shell. And if you are in a shell, you, 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 won't, you won't be able to be in it as, as long because we have so many kind kids and so many people that you can look up to. The culture of LVA is very diverse. Um, everyone here is so open-minded and willing to learn from their peers around. And there's really no conflict at LVA. Everyone's able to be in a safe space here. Because everyone is enriched by the diversity and, and supporting the diversity and you know using that also to better our art you know because the more collaborativeness that we can have together you know the better. LVA is really balanced between the performance and your academics so there's many opportunities if you want to take honors, AP classes, even our gen ed classes are really amazing. You, you get a, a rounded experience no matter what. And we also have a bunch of electives as far as like vocal jazz and Apple workshop and dance PE, um, photo and visual art. So, you know, even being in a regular class is almost like being in an honors class because they're always pushing you the extra mile to see what you're capable of. Both artistic and academic, all they want to do is see you succeed. And when teachers have that attitude, it makes it so much easier to grow and learn. The biggest thing, the biggest commitment to going to the school is your time. I do have to wake up earlier to get to school, but you know, anything for what I want to be in the future. We had auditions the first week and then right after that it was six o'clock nights, just all week. So it really, you have to you know, have a solid work ethic, but it's crazy. But if you're here and you love to do it, it really it doesn't feel like much work at all. Because they teach us how to be so dedicated and committed and invested, it becomes a lifestyle. So you no longer, you no longer think about you know, the sacrifice that you're making because you're doing it out of love. My teachers really try to present to us as many opportunities as possible. So if you're not doing too well in a class, they have office hours. You can go in at lunch and raise your grades, retake tests. Teachers like to present extra credit opportunities when they can. Our major teachers really care about us and making sure that we get exposure to the outside world. There are a few people around the world that get these opportunities that people at LVA get. I've been able to work with a whole bunch of different choreographers in the dance department. I've been able to meet different people and explore and learn. One of my favorite memories was actually this summer and we got to perform with Hugh Jackman. He asked us to come to Utah with him and, and perform with him twice out there and in Las Vegas. One of my best things that I've been able to experience while being here is the encouragement from my teachers uh, into submitting into the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. I ended up being selected not just at the state level, but I went all the way to nationals and got gold medal in photography. One of the biggest things that stands out to me with one-on-one -on -one time is we have paraprofessionals at LVA, so outside professionals will come in and work with us um, weekly, and it's a really good opportunity to get an outside view when it comes to your 
specific focus. There's so many opportunities to learn about the college process if you're completely clueless. It seems like every week we have something going on on a college fair. I know for upperclassmen, we have college visits, like, you know, college representatives will come to campus and talk about their school, which is an awesome way to get exposed to some schools you never would have thought of. Also, our counselors are amazing. Their doors are always open if you want to come talk to them about letters of recommendation or I'm looking at this school, don't know really how to get started. There's college days around the whole entire school. We actually have college visits throughout the week that we can go see um, any school that we may be interested in. It's kind of easy to go to college auditions because we are so prepared here. It's just like second nature, so it just comes naturally. And the LVA way is just knowing that if you go to LVA, you're part of a family. And family and a sense of community is one of the biggest things here. I am the LVA way. I am the LVA way. I am the LVA way. You know, LVA has set me up that it's not only a dream, but dreams can come true.